Let's continue on with Jamie, see what uh, type of trouble she's going to get into. Last episode we lost Eren, well we didn't lose Eren. We chose to kill Eren, because it was a choice between Eren or Kate. And I think Kate's much better, Eren was a bit of a melt. Yeah, kind of deserved it. <laughs> I don't know whether she deserved it or not, but that's what she gets. Oh, great. Yo, I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. Press X to doubt that one. I think that's exactly what we are. So now what? Torch. Oh, this is the room. Was this the room Eren got lured to earlier on? Like the first time. Well, oh, great. <laughs> we were. What, I still don't understand why we need a multimeter to um, follow this diagram order of switches. It's just so nonsensical. Right, so. Start with this one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Shazam! Yes, there we go. Oh well. Hold on, was that? This is Kate's room. We never got a chance to look in there because when we tried, Kate said like, she's not ready for the guy to invade her personal space. And this leads upstairs. Are you fucking kidding me? A room's been trashed. Hola, signore. Lip balm. Oh, this is the lip balm we shared with the late Aaron. Come on then. The hell? There's rooms behind the mirrors. So hold on, we never ever figured out how she managed to contact Erin and tell her to hide in a cupboard. That was never explained, or maybe it wasn't her. I will check this out. Oh 
Oh, she can get crushed. Mark! Why can we not go through there? <laughs> Charlie, is it? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. It is. That is hilarious. You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting. And suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. No. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment. When someone realizes they are at their end, that's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. Did it. There you are. I see you now. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Bare hands can feel good, huh? But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. I think it is Monday like. I do think that's who it is.
come on, yeah, the lad. I've got to keep it real with you. I don't find this game very engaging at all. It really fucking balls it up. This could have been amazing. A Saw style type game. And they've actually fucked it up. It's... It's pretty bad. I hate to say that because I love these Dark Pictures Anthology, but it's just not very good. I think 2022 has got to be the worst year for games. I think there's a lot of games I've played this year that have been major disappointments. It's been like a fucking a year for creative bankruptcy. Where we started. I've no idea. Oh, how boring is this? Bro, nobody wants to walk about fucking corridors that look the same. Best way to find yourself out of a maze is just to stick to one wall and follow it around. Who says self-help books don't work? Hmm. Right. That could be a doorway. Um, Jamie gets crushed. What we just saw in the air, uh, the premonition. This is the room. Yeah, Jamie's on the other side of that wall, that mirror. In case you miss me, Michelle, morning, right near 8 a.m. Requested to use the library or the music lounge, so I assume I'm one of those. I'm in one of those. Dying outside, blah blah blah. That's a waste of time. Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. By Joseph Morello. But that wasn't Dumet on the ferry. Nope. Joseph Morello. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They'd be nice folks, the Stuarts. Real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad's still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town of Seattle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she'd taken it the hardest. Mr. Stewart had made me a coffee. She was functioning okay, but had dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on, still living in that cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring. We talked a lot. They were at ease, talking about anything. The night that had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him. It was just a fact or life for them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer and that was their world. That sounds really mean. Maybe use kinder words. I don't like the cocoon sentence. Is there a more relatable metaphor? Everything. It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. It was I was apprehensive but thanked them and agreed. It would be helpful to get an idea of the kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murder had taken as we walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like the going to that room. Things were neat and tidy but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly biblical, that were thick with dust. The strain and financial impact must have been huge. Miss Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time of it without being so descriptive? Maybe explain why. Did she find it difficult to face anyone? Was he a writer? 
Right out of serial killers. That's probably how he was lured in here. Just like we did. Just like we were. Oh, a doll. Bethany. Beth Bethany. Connie. Connie. Yeah, that might be the... I don't know if it was a dog or a wolf that we saw in the lighthouse at the start of the game. Maybe it was the dog. If they had brought a dog with them. Right, we need a keypad. Cord. Well, look at it then, you idiot. Please stop crying, Mommy. Please stop crying, Mommy. Beast's body burgled. Arkansas this week, the body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month and his remains were buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springdale, Arkansas. A senior police spokesperson for a local law enforcement stated at a press conference, We believe this to be the work of a serial killer obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved but have not ruled that out, that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumours have been circulating among serial killer enthusiast forums online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by the press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are really foolish. If they were aware of the despicable... De yeah, but still. You can still be a... F and still find a keen interest in... Like, I think many people do have a keen interest in, in serial killer stories because they're fascinating. I think it's a bit different when you go and dig up their bodies and parade them about your bedroom or possibly have sexual interactions with it. It goes a bit far. Right, we need a fucking code. Focus. I don't know what it is. I'm looking for a date. Oh wait there, what's this on the wall? Nothing. <laughs> Bethany. Alright, board here. Oh, 8259. Bullshit. Got no idea. The clock is zero. No, no, yeah, it's it's zero eight forty five. Or twenty forty five zero eight forty five. 
2045. Well, I ain't got a fucking clue, mate. Like a fucking he has Johnny Wall in it. He can use her pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper. When the f fuck did we ever learn that? Lads, this game is 100% pure, unadulterated dog shit. When the fuck did we ever use a pencil to figure out what was on the fucking paper? Oh my god, this fucking game. Nineteen ninety nine, terrible, absolutely terrible. Don't fucking talk to us. This game is is garbage. <laughs> oh well, fucking riveting gameplay. What? I don't even care. It's gonna be a mannequin in it. Dragged. She's got a lot of altercations with the, the killer, hasn't she? I'm pressing right trigger. Oh my god! Actual real head. Oh no, it's animatronic. I don't know if are these part human or not? I, 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 I don't know. Oh my man, he survived, no way, bruh. <coughs> One of this guy still wants a smoke, <laughs> he would have inhaled a lot of smoke during that. Oh, here we go, we can move this, can't we? We block this door. That might stop the killer from entering, because I don't imagine the killer's going to use this. FBI. Yeah. Mr. Mundy. Mr. Anderson. This guy's got no torch or anything. There we go. Please! Oh. Please! Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> so the grounds keep up with an animatronic as well. I I, I suspect as much. Because the only people on this island or in, in this game that are alive are like us. Oh, there we go, there's a button over there. Does this, does this guy pretend to be some sort of surgeon, but he's only really doing surgery on mannequins? He's a bit of a mug. Automated waste disposal unit. Have you noticed we keep getting like hint screens on the right hand side of the screen but it's actually cut off? Shit, we're gonna get mangled here. Do it baby. <laughs> I could have nearly lost my head. Hide. Fuck me, this is risky. Nice one. Nice one. Easy now. We've never had a Y prompt on those, even though the game told us we might. From the good time, Chicago 19. Thank you. 
Shit. Come on, kid, baby. It's your friend, man. It's your friend. It's um. It's me. Get in here. Hear me, yeah. Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Kill him. This 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 could have been your one chance to just kill him and then just chill out and escape the island of your own accord. Rear naked choke is the tool of dreams. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. We should destroy everything. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. So everything, crazy all progress is going as. Look at this place. Expected. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. They should remain confidential. Regards, Wait, Brandon. He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him All of our custom insecure. masks are very robust. Like, low self-esteem? Total cost would be 1,800 quid. Parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor. But it could be a shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle. Any adult figure, really. Chicago Police, Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh, <laughs> Fucking got him as well. My Agent Monday is a bit tapped. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Aaron. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked Oxen anger. Room. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. Ah, see, Charlie Furness crossed out. He thinks Charlie's dead, but he's he likes not. Likes being in a position of power, 
Especially awesome. over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he I Take a look at this. What is that? I don't want to see Charlie here. The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. It was him? I guess that was Mr. Demet. Can we use this him. gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Gotta be something down here. Use her pen again. Michelle initially appeared excited becoming increasingly agitated really alone more difficult to separate her wanted the hotel later last night opportunity bathed the way from family room noticeably tired towards the end of the day drink socially use this heavy sleeping pills target her at the end of the day gave wine and sleeping pills when bathing separate her Harrison Lee death via asphyxiation reset trap before next group arrives Lewis Lee drowned fish body out of a pool Cecil Hall Death from blood loss after the impalement on a sundial. Body disposed of. Kurt Hall, multiple gunshot wounds. Thomas Hall, single gunshot wound execution. He has got a gun. I didn't think this guy had guns, but he does. June Collins. Forty-one years, open-minded, simple to coerce, healthy, seemingly no major health issues within a thousand kilometers. Family of five, fluent in Spanish, ambidextrous, travels a lot, runs late at night, runs when traveling as well. We're not the first, are we? Andrew Collins, thirty-eight, average build, amateur boxing, deal with first because he could be a threat. Unknown medical condition. Right-handed, insecure, small but close extended family, will they call them? One parent dead, other ill, medical bills, pressure, caffeine addict. There we are. Charlie's a narcissist, I can't read what she is. Donnez-moi un nouveau brouillon. This is everything about me. Jesus. Patient's name. Jamie Tegan. 1996 female. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it is. It's just a... It's just a profile for everyone. Split confidence issue she's got. She might have PTSD, she's got self-destructive tendencies and impulsive. Crazy. What they're saying about Charlie? Borderline narcissist, yeah. That's it.
Oh, I always have a lawyer, this is him. Homeless costume recreation. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, uh, I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your home. And we just see this morning room. And of course, you want to see this. We've had complaints from some of the other residents who are disturbed. Disturbed by the volume and the content of the recordings. And also some of the language used. All right, let's go. Over here. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him. We can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. There he is. Big okay, boy. Look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. Bait. Yep. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd that's, say that's more dangerous. Come on. That's how There's she no could possibly get chances. trapped into a wall. It's going to be Jamie. Plan. I'll be the bait. If yep. you're sure, just if it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Go on and give me it then. I might need that. If he shows his face. Here, take it. If the mech comes for you, fuck his shit she, up. She should... What What would be, be a better idea, right? Would be instead of luring them to a corridor which you don't know is going to okay. work because he probably Let's knows the layout like it. the back of his hand. Make sure she's hiding around the corner with the that plan. screwdriver. Obviously. Get him to so chase her. And when he's least expecting it, There's stab him in the face. My plan's the okay, best. Be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Do I have to right. press buttons here? Here goes nothing. Yeah, <sighs> lads, I could plan my way out of this, no problem. Just, just put me in there. I'll have bitches stabbed up and chived up and put on the barbecue. <laughs> I would, mate. In fact, I'd just be the killer, be killing everyone. Right, tell you what we'll do. We've got a torch, but let's not use the torch because we don't really want to let him know we're here behind us. Wait there. Oh, there is something behind us. Oh, I thank you. I'll have that. Alright, let's go. Come hither, my child. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. I think horror movies would be over like a lot sooner than they are if the people other than the serial killer had like even one bollock. Just one ball. Just enough to actually do some damage. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Is this on the map? Probably not on the map. And Where's this corridor? Are we trapping him in this corridor? Because there's a big hole he could just go through the wall. Lads, don't know if this is a good idea. Oh shit. I think we're going to have to use a torch. 
Oh, she doesn't have a torch. Okay. Why has she got a torch if she doesn't have a torch? Oh, he's going to be behind here, Annie. Let's go. Do it fast. Or do it slow. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Lads, if you, th if you think there's a killer behind something, like, you'd do it fast, wouldn't you, and then back off. More rooms being built. Huh. Oi, oi. What was that? Did someone move? I think they did. Oh, the sh... the bed. I saw the door shut and I was like, oh, he's just left the room. Nope. Right, well, we know he's in there. Oh, that's the wall we just saw. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Wait, is he drowning or is he masked? Drowning or gas, I couldn't figure out if he was in water or not. Right, he's in this room, so let's be careful. Oh, you know where this room is? This is where we... Um, Aaron hidden that cupboard right at the start of the game from him. This is his office. Doors locked, no way. Shit. Oh, you shit. Run, bitch, run! Come on, bitch. Exactly, come on, bitch. Bring it on. Come on, baby. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Here, this guy's walking, he's faster than us. Bluff, run, 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 just run! Oh, come on now. Do it, do it, do it. Close it! Fucking close it! How would she even hear no, us? I suppose no, she's watching on the cameras. <sighs> nice. We got him? <sighs> what the hell? Oh, where this guy comes out the shadows like the Batman. Who is this guy? Just like I said, this guy knows this place like the back of his hand. You can't trap this guy. Oh, nah. Maybe we should have given her the screwdriver. Oh, here we go. Bruh. Jamie, fucking run! Shit. Oh, God. Well, don't go in there then. This guy could never catch you. Lads, I just need to pause it there for a second. We're in a circular room, right? There's no way on God's green earth this guy could catch us. Ever. We'll just play a ring of ring of roses with him. Couldn't kill us. I just picked things up and throw them at him. 
hopefully one would strike a critical blow and then we would kill him. He couldn't get us in a round room, no way. Not a chance. Ah, uh, oh, don't fall over. I don't get split up, lad. Just, just stay close. Oh, there, there. Oh my god. Does this girl ever learn? She just runs into random rooms. Oh, Jamie. and now you're dead. Well done. Jamie, stop! <sighs> Shit! What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what does it? Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna get crushed. No man, stick it in the rails. But it needs to be going the other way. Move, move. Put it in the corner. I think that's just helping the glass along. To be honest. Towards me? You yep. Mean, yeah. This thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait! I know! If I do press it, then you're the one that dies. God damn, do that! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We can still do this, though. Jam the mechanism. In all fairness, you couldn't let yourself die, could you? I'm sorry, I have to. Everyone can understand that. I'm sorry. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Use the screwdriver in the rails. Come on, baby. I like Kate, I don't want to die. It's not on you, you hear me? You go, go! I don't want you to watch. I'm not letting you die alone. Jamie, I don't want to die. Do these no, people just like lie like down this. and die in every situation? Kayla. Oh. What an excruciating way to go. Yeah, I don't fancy that. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but I didn't think she'd be that cold-blooded. Jamie would chose not to save Erin when she could, leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, huh? suffocating to death. Oh, Erin, yeah, that's right. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Charlie's a beast. Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Nah, Would no you hints. Like one now? Nope. I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, <laughs> watching very closely. I don't know what the point of the screwdriver was. Oh, here we go. That's pretty clever. You okay? Do I look okay? So that would have been pretty... If we had kept the screwdriver... We would have had to sacrifice ourselves for the opposite to happen. Yeah. Let's not hang around. But well, doesn't really play a major part. <sighs> Hear that? Oh, <coughs> Jesus wept. Fuck.
Oh, I've got a light mark. A bit of a weird interlude in it. Through the wall, yeah. You need to face your problems head on, man. Running's not going to get you anywhere. Out the window. Oh shit, I nearly missed that. Come on now. Get wrecked. Get away from me! Oh, don't hide in there. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Fuck you. Shit. Just drop the crystal. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, did she? Was that in that pocket? I couldn't really tell what it was doing. Even if we were breathing, I don't think he'd be able to hear us because it's fucking pissing down the rain. Oh shit. We need help. I think she's going to get a port to the head if I'm honest. Where's Jamie? We need a distraction. If I'm honest, my patience is wearing a bit thin with the, uh, with Kate here. She always does the stupidest thing. She just runs into dead ends every single time. I'm tired of her presence. when you're not too thorough in your job. Fucking run! I'd run, I'd run, definitely would. I wouldn't be in a fucking cupboard to start with. Hide, 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 hide. Get up there, but don't get yourself in a corner. <sighs> get the bottle, get the bottle, get the bottle. Oh, I'm gonna stab him in the neck. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Bro. Just be cautious of the bottle, you might make a noise.
shit, she made it, did she? No, no! Get your what? fucking hands off me! What the fuck did you get a hold of her? Save her. Come on, baby. Baby! Uh, run! Stay away from me. Go on, butt him up. Butt him up! Shit. I pressed the wrong button. Shit. Well, I didn't press the wrong button. I was mashing Y. Oh, well, that's fucking great. Shit, I think she might have survived. Maybe. I don't know. Get up. She's okay. She's okay. Get up. I'm sorry, you can't have a mashing button prompt okay. followed by a, a different button. It's it just doesn't work like that. He's coming. Let's go. Run. You're outside. You're safe. There's no. How, how, what, how did he get on the floor? Did he just fucking suit a man off the top ropes? This guy. Don't stop. Bullshit. I need to, I need to like, pause it. I tell you what, we'll pause it here. We'll call it an episode. I think that this is a new sec. I don't know whether this is the same section or not. I've got no idea. Um, just because we've been going on a little bit over an hour now. But um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one where it looks like we've got to escape this guy. This guy is the Terminator. There's no human is like this. We were, lads. This guy, I would have murdered him within the first 15 minutes to find out he was a killer. As long as I didn't get killed in a surprise attack, this guy's days would have been numbered. I don't know how this guy got off the roof faster than... Actually, speaking of that, Kate just fell off the roof. Seconds later, Jamie was there to help her. How the hell did she get down? Maybe they just all followed suit and just um, five-star frog splashed off the top ropes. Maybe, I don't know. See you in the next episode, lads.